There's a rumor flying around about Luisa Elizondo's book. Let's get the real details, the truth about Luisa Elizondo's book and its upcoming release. Let's dive in, Fetters. If you're new to the channel, you like content like this, please hit that subscribe button. Put our new video every day, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. I do not miss a day. And of course, hit that like button, y'all. That really helps out the videos. So thank y'all so much for the support there, Vetters. And of course, comment down below of what do you think I've uh, uncovered here, if you will. Um, and yeah, I, I can't really say more, right? Let, let's dive in. This, this is going to be a long video. There's a lot of links. There's a lot to... to Dots to connect, but I'm going to do my best, so let's go. Um, first, we need some context, right? So what, what exactly is floating around? So this link is floating around on Twitter, and everyone was sharing it today. Everyone's talking about, oh, my God, Luis Elizondo's book. November, look at this, November 6th, 2024. We're like, what? I thought it was supposed to come out here in March, right, with the documentary. So... This comes out, right? It's talking about his book. It's called Disclosure. No cover available. Look at the, the price is cheap. Um, coming out hardback, right? Um, and basically, the, this is not it, y'all. Okay? The, this, is, this is not it at all. Um, so, if you've seen this, I don't think it's real. Now, why? Let's, let's take a closer look here. Um, on Twitter... This guy right here, Shannon Scott, um, so Post Disclosure, hang on, po Post Disclosure tweets out, apparently Luis Alonso's book will release on November 7th. Well, first of all, it said November 6th here, so I don't know how, how they got that date wrong. Maybe it changed. I don't know. Um, and this guy says, spoke to the man himself, meaning Luis Elizondo. Unfortunately, it's not true. Lou, Lou Book still not has been released for publishing. Um, okay. And this is the original tweet, right? So, spoke to the man himself. Fortunately, it's not true. Lou Book still has not been released for publishing. Um, and post-disclosure guy takes um, takes that tweet down. Now, it's kind of interesting that he just takes it down, says thanks. He didn't even confirm with this guy, with Shannon. Like, how do you, I mean, you talk to him. What does that mean? I guess this guy, a host of the military, uh, military witnesses to UAP. Uh, I guess it's a it's a, a YouTube channel or a podcast or something. So anyway, that kind of gets shut down, right? Like, I don't think this is true, whatever, all the stuff. Then, oh, God, I hate to even cover these guys. Um, but there's a show called Disclosure Tonight, which I have covered on the channel uh, before. I kind of honestly exposed this guy right here that you see, Mike Disclosure, I caught him sharing a fake story on Twitter and I busted him. Um, and he gave all these different reasons of why he took it down. And anyone who saw the story knew it was immediately fake. Um, remember, this is the show that hosts Rick Doty all the time. Right? And if you're wondering, well, here's my video. Well, a little Patrick and Patrick and Patrick, right? Like, talk about meta, y'all. So, because I had originally made a video about the story thought it was nonsense. And after I made this video, that guy deleted this story. And then this video <laughs> is about me talking about that. And of course he deleted it, but he didn't delete it. He, the reasons he gave for deleting it were outlandish, right? Because he still sticks by that this story is real, but that the public wasn't ready for it. And if you read that story, it is absolutely ridiculously fake like you could just immediate i don't i didn't see one person think it's real even people that just believe everything were like this this, this smells like bs so anyway i'm put a link to this go check it out all right you can watch the video because i've always had concerns about the show disclosure tonight and how they host rick Doty. and again i busted him on this fake story and that's just the one story i busted him on. how many other stories have they told that are just not true <clears throat> but, and they've talked about me on their channel. I get it. After this video came out, they were not happy with me. So I've, I've heard from other people that they've messaged me saying, Hey, just so you know, they're, they're talking about you. And I think some of their people from their show have come on to the comments and commented and chat and whatever. I don't, I stay away from it. I, I don't, I don't really care, but please check out this video because what I'm about to go into for, helps further explain the show and this is what I'm so confused by because it is true that this guy right here Thomas Fessler who hosts this show and has and him and Mike basically host the show together 
<coughs> pardon me, how this guy is in contact with Luis Elizondo is beyond me. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to play this clip. Let's just play it and tell me what you see. So I'm not exactly where I should be right now. Oh, let me see if I can find this mic here. Um... So they were just talking about the same story that I showed you, right? With that, with that link right there, right? Again, link all the links in the description. Go check them out, right? About the book. So they're talking about it like it's real. They're thinking that's a real story. Then while they're in the middle of this live stream, this happens. Here we go. I need to mute myself here, guys. My Did you hear that? The phone said, Lou Elizondo, or whatever. <clears throat> right? And if anyone wants to try to zoom in on that phone, you can see the name pop up, you know, and stuff. I don't know. Figure that out. I tried to, and you can't really tell. But you do hear the audio of the phone saying, Lou Elizondo's calling. So Lou Elizondo calls them in the middle of this live stream, supposedly. And I'm going to play you what happens, but... Again, isn't that odd? And if he had contact with Luis Salazar, why wouldn't he check with him first before going, you know, live with this story? Is it because he wanted Lou Elizondo to call in in the middle of the stream? You know what I mean? I don't know. It's just odd. And why is Luis Elizondo watching this live stream? You know, or someone he knows is watching it and sending it like, why, who's watching this? Like, I can't believe that Lou Elizondo would support this show and Rick Doty and this Mike Disclosure guy. Like, that worries me, y'all. I'm just saying. That worries me. And if I ever interview Luis Elizondo, that is the only question I'm going to ask. Why are you... What What's the deal with uh, Disclosure Tonight, Thomas Fessler, Mike Disclosure, Rick Doty? Why, why do you support that show so much? Right? We know Rick Doty's history. Mirage Men, look it up if you don't know who that is. Mirage Men, okay? Google that documentary. And I've covered Rick Doty on the channel before. <laughs> so let's just let this play. See if I can find this mic here. Um... Here we go. I need to mute myself here, guys. Mike, take this. I got it. Hey, my friend, how are you? So, Lee, you hey, had my your friend. hand up. How are you? You uh, continue while we're waiting. Oh, thank you, Mike. Um, You're welcome. So, back last year, I would say like around July. August, I'm going to skip ahead um, here, y'all. One that was going to um, um, publish uh, to what they were saying. So that Let me just Paramount skip, Global. I'm sorry. Uh, go ahead. Okay. Here under you go. media contract. I've got here. I'm sorry. Uh, go ahead. No, no Lee, I said, um, Marilyn Thomas, that's, you know, that's Jennifer's hold on. Yeah, I, I, I said, uh, let me mute myself to the audio, everything I've got going on here. One second. <clears throat> this is the middle of a live stream. He just mutes the whole thing, ignores what the talking, because it gets a call from Lou Elizondo. The way they run their live streams, y'all, is hilarious. I'm telling you, like, honestly, this guy right here is so mean to this guy, too. Like, the way they, I don't get this show, man. I, I just don't get this. I don't understand how Luis Elizondo is calling this guy, talking to him, giving him this information. Like, that worries me, y'all. I'm just saying, that worries me. I would just be curious of Luis Elizondo's reason, right? Because this guy is... Interesting. This guy is not trustworthy at all. Look at this. They're just muted forever. Because he's talking to Lou. He's reading messages. I don't know. Right. And he comes back on. He's just like, hey, um, you know, that's not, none of this is true. Right. The page is like, he. Just saying none of it's true, right? That this isn't true. Um, I just I just find this interesting that he would just put this on mute for the whole thing, right? Like, 
why wouldn't he say anything to the audience? Hey guys, give me a second. Talking to Lou, you know, I don't know. It all just seems so set up. So odd. I just, Go ahead, I just, Lee. Continue. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> say- silence sucks. I know it's everybody. You were kind of <laughs> dropped. I had a phone call come in, yes, from Lou to go ahead and say the date is the the title is not right. The number of pages is not right. The release date is not right. <laughs> I don't get this show. <laughs> and he also said that he's not getting the uh, manuscript back, so it hasn't been approved. Yeah, I don't. What, did Mike hear that phone call? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's going on? I Again, how are these guys? I, I, watch that video I made right here. Watch this video. This guy, I prove it because I messaged Mike in, in Twitter messages and email I get two completely different re- again, it's total BS these guys. So I don't I just don't get it, man. I am so confused by this, y'all. I got to be honest, this worries me. This this worries me a little bit about Lou. Please tell me in the comments what am I what am I not understanding here? Why would Lou associate with them? I've proven this guy not to be truthful. And who knows how many other um, you know, because they state to have sources within the White House and all this stuff, right? Information, right? Dude, I I just don't, I don't get it. I'm not even sure that's Luis Elizondo on the phone. To be honest, I don't know. Could be. If it is, it's worrisome, y'all. That's worrisome. Spread this video. Share it. Let's find out. Why is Lou Elizondo connected to Disclosure tonight and Mike Disclosure and Thomas Fussell? This makes zero. And Rick Doty, y'all. Please make that make sense to me. Make that make sense. And watch this video that I made. Just watch it. I read the whole thing. I prove it. You can watch it. Now, let's get to the real nitty gritty here. This is... Actually, let's go here. This is the original story. Okay, look at this date. September 13th, 2021. This is the original story talking about Luis Elizondo's book. Former Pentagon UFO official Luis Elizondo to reveal shocking details in new book. The former head of the U.S. government's secretive UFO program. (coughs) Pardon me. Will pin a book for HarperCollins that includes profound implications for humanity. Now, let's keep going down. The memoir promises to reveal shocking, never-before-shared details regarding what Elizondo has learned about UFOs and the profound implications for humanity, all of which will escalate what is already a hot topic globally. Right here, he says, has signed a book deal with William Morrow, an imprint of HarperCollins, after a competitive bidding war for the U.S. publishing rights. U.S. Publishing rights, all right? So you got to get publishing rights in different parts, right? So the UK, because again, remember this original thing is, this is from the UK. So it could be true, just some of the details aren't true. But this is where it gets interesting. Let me read uh, Luis Elizondo's statement about this. And there's something else we're about to get into. The American people now know a small portion of what I and my colleagues in the Pentagon have been privy to, that these UAP, unidentified aerial phenomenon, are not secret U.S. technology, that they do not seem to belong to any known allies or adversaries, and that our intelligence services have yet to identify terrestrial explanation for these extraordinary vehicles. This conversation is only just beginning. And again, this is 2021, September 2021. Now, here at the bottom, this is where it gets interesting. Elizondo's book deal was brokered by Dan Farah of Farah Films and Management. Right? And right here. 
these people. But this person right here, Dan Farah. Now, on my other podcast, Lone Star Plate, years ago, I spoke to this person, Dan Farah. I found him on IMBD, and he was Luis Elizondo's manager. That's what it said to contact because I had an IMBD Pro account, and that gives you access that regular IMBD does not give you. So I emailed him and tried to set up an interview with Luis Elizondo. And we had a back and forth and we even spoke on the phone. And Dan is, did, he's the guy, right? He got Luis Elizondo's book deal. He also is the one that set up his 60 minutes, um, you know, interview, right? That famous one. He also is supposedly part of this documentary that's supposed to come out as well. So I can confirm that this guy did set up Luis Elizondo's book. He did set out, um, you know, 60 Minutes. And who is this guy? Dan Farah, Farah Films. Well, he's a producer in Hollywood. Famously produced Ready Player One. Steven Spielberg, Ernest Klein, two names to remember. But he also was a producer for The Phenomenon, right, with James Fox, right? You're going to see a lot of names that intertwine here from this guy, Dan Farah. Ready Player One was written by Ernest Klein. Ernest Klein is a huge UFO guy. He was recently on an episode of Weaponized with George Knapp and Jeremy Corbell, right? Um, the Phenomenon, James Fox, right? So you can connect all of these people together. And guess who was a producer on The Phenomenon? George Knapp. And you can see uh, Dan Farah right here. George Knapp helped with The Phenomenon. So if you're ever wondering, like James Fox, Luis Elizondo, Jeremy Corbell, are they all connected? They are. Behind the scenes, they are connected. Okay, I've always wondered that. They really are. Uh, behind the scenes, these guys are a lot more connected um, and as I started to make this video, I started to see all those connections. I guess it was there in front of me and I just didn't notice. And then if you go to Dan Farah's Instagram, one, you can see, uh, right here, look, there's this thing called the ready verse with Ernest Klein. That's going to be coming out, right? It's going to be producing it. And remember, Steven Spielberg is very connected to James Fox, right? Always heard the story of Steven Spielberg helping out James Fox. They have mutual friends. You just start to notice this is how Hollywood works. And look here, who's who's uh, who's this guy? All right, who's this guy right here? Tom DeLonge. Because this Dan Farah is also producing Secret Machines, one of Tom DeLonge's projects, right, with TTSA. Again, you just start to see all the connections, right? Here's Ernest Klein right here. Ready Player One, Steven Spielberg, James Fox, George Knapp, Luis Elizondo, Tom DeLong, Jeremy Corbell, right? All these people are connected by this guy, Dan Farah. He's a guy to remember in this field, to be honest with you. Nobody talks about him, but he is the guy to watch if you want to know. Now, I guarantee you that Luis Elizondo's um, documentary, I bet details are somewhere on IMBD under some working title or something. I don't know. But it would have to be if it's, you know, a project. You, you, you typically register that stuff and you've got to get it ahead of time, especially if you want exposure. And this guy, Dan Farah, is all about exposure. Okay, he's going to be the executive producer on The Crow coming up. And Hellraiser, he's got some other projects, right? But Luis Elizondo has teamed up with a Hollywood producer to, you know, help with his book and the documentary. And, and again, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. Right? If you're trying to get the word out and you're trying to make the most of this and have the biggest impact, like, I get it. But that's what it is. I mean, where else do you go? But it is interesting to see all the different connections. Because behind the scenes, this guy is wh who's making it happen for them. For all the different people. You know, he's helping James Fox. He's helping 
Luis Elizondo, George Knapp, Tom DeLong, right? He's, he's going to be behind a lot of these projects. And again, I have talked to him on the phone. He's an interesting guy. Um, he's not really into UFOs and stuff. He actually sent me a, a uh, Harry Reid's letter about Luis Elizondo to sort of prove that, you know, he, he, that Luis Elizondo was legit. Um, again, this is for my old podcast, uh, Lone Star Plate. So just interesting. I don't know, y'all. Just saying, quite interesting. But more than anything, what I want to know, and I hope somebody in the comments can tell me, why is this guy and this guy and Rick Doty connected to Luis Elizondo? I need to know. This, this does not make sense, y'all. I need that to make sense. Because, again, I caught them putting out disinformation into the UFO community. I caught them red-handed. They deleted it. They tried to move past it. They tried to butter me up. I wanted nothing to do with it. You want to know how disinformation, right, gets out. And why is Luis Elizondo connected to it? That doesn't make sense, ma'am. That doesn't make sense. I don't get it. I need to know what's going on there. Again, watch this video. Okay? Links in the description. Go watch it all. Go check it all. Dive into this. Do whatever you want. But something just not, something smells off, y'all. Something smells off with that channel and something smells off with Luis Elizondo connected to that. Again, why is he watching that live stream and calling into that guy who's proven to put out disinformation? I don't understand. I don't, I don't get what's happening. Is, is, is Luis Elizondo sort of playing them? Because he can't, there's no way that Luis Elizondo trusts those people. There's no way. I just don't believe that. You know, I like Lou. I want to see this. I want to read the book. I want to see the documentary. I want to support him. Why is he connected to these guys, man? The worst. Some of the, it's just like the worst YouTube channel about, they call it Disclosure Tonight. It's, it's, it's not Disclosure Tonight. It's fake Disclosure Tonight, right? It's, I, again, I'm not saying everything they push is fake, but I caught him in one fake thing. Where do you go from there? Just blatantly fake. And then claiming that it came from their source. Again, I don't believe they have sources. I guess they have Luis Elizondo. Is Luis Elizondo feeding them stuff? Is, is Rick Doty? Like, again, what is going on? I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it, y'all. So, please, I hope someone in the comments can help me understand this because I'm totally confused. But if anything, I'm even more confused about Luis Elizondo's book, right? I put the truth about Luis. I don't know. All I know is there is a book coming out. Is, is that the date that it's coming out, November? It's possible. Think about it. I made a video not too long ago about an update that Danny Sheehan had said Luis Elizondo's book was in six weeks would be f cleared of Dopser. Now, that doesn't mean that that's when the book comes out, right? Once it's cleared from Dopser, which isn't until March, then they can begin the publishing of it, right? Because it has to be cleared, ready to go. They'll make the final edits and then push out the book and they've got to promote they've got to set it ahead of time they've got to print copies they've got to set up pr a promotional run right set up all these interviews in advance um and push to get it out plus they have a calendar of when other books go out so the book may be ready but just like a movie they slot it into a certain time right so it could come out whenever at that point once it's ready right they'll figure out when it's going to have the, the most impact. And November, it's the beginning of November, is right at the election, y'all. The 2024 election for the president of the U United States. Pardon me. And probably one of the craziest elections the U.S. has ever seen is about to come up. If you thought the last two elections were nuts <laughs> and the turnover of power, wait till this year. Who knows what is going to happen?
So that's interesting. So could it come out in November? Yeah, it's possible. Could it come out this summer? We don't know. I don't know, y'all. But it does take a while for publishing companies to get this stuff out, get scheduled, everything I just said. But I would assume, just moving forward, if you hear some stuff on Twitter, this and that, just wait till it comes from Luis Elizondo. He will, I promise, he will put out the proper tweet and promotion of his own book when he's allowed, when all that's ready. The publishing house isn't going to put stuff up on a website before it's ready. They're not going to do any of that. So is someone going around trying to make up stuff about Luis Elizondo and create this stuff on sites and whatever? It's possible. It's also possible they got the information wrong on that on that site, you know, because he's not saying, no, that's not my publisher. He's just saying, no, the date's wrong. This is wrong. The page is wrong. That's not right. So he's not saying that's not the company. You know what I mean? So, again, the truth is we don't know. So whatever you're hearing out there, Take it with a grain of salt. I wouldn't trust it unless it comes from Luis Elizondo himself. Let's just put it that way. Unless it comes from Luis Elizondo, I wouldn't trust anything about what's going on with the book. All right. So anyway, hope this video helped. Gave you some things to think about. Some new people in the conversation here to think about. Um, And the biggest question that I have, y'all, for the comments, please. One, how does this Dan Farah guy fit in behind the scenes here? This Hollywood guy, right? who's producing everything for everybody and helping out. And why is Luis Elizondo connected to this show, Disclosure Tonight, with Mike Disclosure? Such a funny name, right? Anyway, all right, y'all. We'll see you on tomorrow's video. See how this goes. See what 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 kind of feedback we get from this video, y'all. I don't know. Share it wide. Um, yeah, share it wide, y'all. Share it on Reddit. Share it on Facebook. Just share it. Let's get this out. Let's find out what's going on. Share it on Twitter. Do whatever you can. All right, y'all. See you on tomorrow's video. Remember, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. As always, every day's a gift, y'all. Peace.